party so i'll quickly show you my new creation yes a cold shoulder blouse this blouse is too much in trend nowadays so i thought why should not i make a video on cold shoulder blouse so in this video i'm going to share cutting and stitching of cold shoulder blouse so this is my cold shoulder blouse i've paired it with black umbrella skirt i hope you can see here so i'll leave you a picture here so this is my full outfit and one new thing in my blouse is i've made it with a zipper at the back and there is no zipper on the side which which looks more beautiful in this this is my cold shoulder blouse i hope you'll like my video so let's get started first i'm going to cut pattern on paper for that i've taken this paper i'll fold it this way from here i'm going to take my markings this will be shoulder side and this will be waist side first of all i'm going to measure length ready length of the blouse is 16 inches i'll take 16 plus 1 17 inches here this is just pattern if you want you can take ready length and you can add seam allowance in fabric also i'll take 17 here 17 i've taken here here i'll take shoulder width my shoulder width is 14 and a half half of 14 and a half is 7.25 half inch more i'll take for seam allowance so it becomes 7.75 0.25 inch less than 8 inches. I'll mark here. And downside, I'll take 7.25 because that was my actual shoulder width. From here also, I'll take 7.25. Now I'll mark a straight line. I'll join these two points as well. I'll take one inch diagonally here. I've given this round shape. I'll take point seven five inches here for shoulder drop, and three and half inches I'll take for neckline. I'll join it like this. Now, for armhole on the inner side, I'll keep this ruler like this. I'll place this ruler on this line. I'll make dashed line. Now, this will be armhole for my front panel. <coughs> I'll measure my bust on this line. My bust is 37 inches. I'll add 3 inches for the losing. So it becomes 40 and then divide it by 4. So I'll take 10 here. So this is going to be my bust measurement. I've marked it here. Now I'm going to measure this. It is 9. So I'll take half of nine. That is four and half. I'll take four and a half. It is coming out here. So this is going to be my point A. Now I'll take marking here. For that I'll mark straight line. Now on this line I'll take four inches. I'll mark here, and from here, from shoulder, again from four inches here, four inches, and then downside I'll take eleven inches. This is the point where highest point of my burst will come. 
so this is point B and this is point C I'm gonna join this point from my pincers line I can join this with a straight line because these are the points in straight line and I'll join them making a curve so this is my princess line one inch on both side I'll take again from this point I'll join this area I'm going to trim off this part is okay but for here I'm going to make a curve like this now I'm going to mark my waist measurement here my waist measurement is 32 I'll not add any losing for waist because for blouse you don't add any losing for waist so 32 divided by 4 is 8 and 2 inch I'm going to lose here so I'll take 10 because 8 plus 2 is 10 and I'll mark here so basically this in this case this measurement and this measurement is coming out same but this may not be the case for everyone this much I will take extra fabric so this is for the front side for the back side I am going to transfer this point for the back side and this point as well first I will cut this then I will do marking for the back side I will separate out back side first I will cut my front side the line which I am cutting on is stitch line. I will leave extra fabric for the seam allowance when I will cut fabric. This is my side piece and this will be the middle piece. Now this is my front side. I will keep it aside. And for the back side, on this line, I will take half an inch dart. So half an inch I will take on either side. I'll join it. So this will be dot. I'm not going to trim it. And for this, my waist measurement is going to come at nine because one inch I'm going to lose here and rest eight inches. So it comes out to be here. I can cut it from here. Now this is my back side. Now I'll take my sleeves. This is joint side. If you wish you can draw a pattern on joint side or you can draw a pattern this side because when we are going to cut our sleeve it would be double. So I'm going to cut my sleeve pattern over here. So whatever I've taken for my armhole, same measurement I'll take here. That is 7.25 inches. I'll take here. And from this point, I'll take 3 inches here. So from here, I'll take 7.25. So this is my point. Now from here to here, I'll make a curve. Length for pattern, I'll make take this length. But if you want to increase in your blouse, you can increase. So this is 10 and a half. For 10 and a half length, my arm round is 12 inches. So I'll take 6 here. This is the curve for the back side. For front side, I'll make another curve. I'll measure this. This is around 8. So I'll take half, that is 4. So it's coming out here. I'll take again, it's half it's here. I'll take less than half an inch here. This will be curved for the front side. First, I'll cut this. This is stitch line, so I'm going to leave margin over here. First, I'll cut an outer curve, then I'll open it up. This 
this is my sleeve for my blouse because I'm going to make it cold shoulder so cold shoulder is having a cut over here For cold shoulder, I'll take, it depends on you how deep cut you want here. I'm taking 3 inches here, so it will be of 3.5 inches, then I'll stitch it. So, I'm going to mark 3 inches here, and 3 inches here as well, both the sides. So, I'm going to join this point with a curve. The distance from the distance from this point till here should be so straight. Curve is going to come up. Like I'll cut this. In this part, I've already taken seam allowance. So when I'm going to cut my sleeve, I'll cut it as it is. So this will be my sleeve. Now I'm going to transfer this pattern to fabric. This is my fabric. This is my fabric. This fabric This is the fabric which I have got for my blouse and this is cotton lining. This fabric is, uh, I don't know the name but it's glossy fabric, it is like silk fabric. So I'll take it like this because I'm going to make my blouse back open. I'm going to attach zipper on the back side. So for the back side, I'll take this way and fold it right side inside I'll take my back side and I'll keep it like I leave half an inch or quarter inch this side because to attach zipper I will require my fabric and I think this is perfect so I should go on and cut it This is my back side. I'll transfer darts right now. This paste measurement also will pass. This is my back side. Now without wasting much fabric, I'll take
open this fabric like this. From here, without pasting much fabric, I can take out this piece. So I'll fold it. This is double like this. Here I'm not going to leave any space, only on this line and princess line I'm going to leave half an inch of fabric.
here on this line I'm going to leave half an inch space so this is going to be my front side now I'm going to cut my sleeves This is also double and this is also double. This is lining, this is also double and this is also double. So I am again going to double it. These are my sleeves. Now cutting for cold shoulder blouse is done. Now I am going to stitch all these pieces together. For stitching first of all I will take front panel. This is my front panel. These are the pieces for front panel. This is the middle piece and this is the side piece. 
first of all I am going to stitch these pieces through princess line all four pieces together I will stitch lining all together with the fabric so I am going to stitch it from here I have stitched it through princess line now. I will flatten the seam using iron. Now it is looking like this. Now I will make a neckline for my front panel. For neckline I will take stiffener and I will cut my neckline on stiffener. For this I will make boat neck. For that I have cut this round neckline. This is 4.5 in width and 4.5 in depth. I'll take extra fabric and I'll stick this on the fabric with the help of iron. Leave half an inch here and then I'll cut it like this. And now fold it from outer side with the help of iron. Now I'll take my front panel and I'll mark its center. In the same way I'll mark center for my neckline. And I'll keep it like this. I'll set it with the help of pins. And now I'm going to make a stitch line on the edge. I'll cut the extra fabric and I'll mark few cuts here and then I'll turn it inside. After turning it inside, it is looking like this. I will not stitch it right now. I will first join both the panels through shoulders. Then I will stitch it. Now I will take my front panel and I will attach this strip for the hemline here. I'll turn the extra fabric to outer side and make another stitch line on top of it. I'll make a stitch line to make the hem. This is temporary stitch line. Later on I'll make invisible hem using needle and thread. I've stitched it from here. So this is the hem for the front panel. As of now I'll keep this aside and I'll make my back panel ready. This is my back panel. This is one side and this is other side. I'm going to attach zipper in the middle. First I'll make these darts. I've stitched these darts. So it is looking like this. Now I'll make neckline for the back panel. For neckline width I'll take 4.5 plus quarter inch because I've left quarter inch while cutting. So I'll make a mark on 5.25 here. And depth I'll take 4.5 and, and I'll make a round shape like this. Now I'll cut this. Now I'll take two bias bindings and I'll stitch them on these two pieces. I stitched that bias strip in the neckline. Now I'm going to attach another strip for the hemline. After stitching, I'll turn this inside. Here where we have dot, I'll make small pleat on the strip and I'll stitch it. 
similarly here I'll make a small pleat and then I'll stitch it I'll turn the seam fabric towards inside and I'll make a stitch line on top of it Now before stitching both neckline strip and hem strip, I'll attach zipper. I'll take this zipper and this zipper will come this way. This end of the zipper will come in the hem. I'll separate this zipper first and then I'll take this side which is going to come on the left side and I'll turn it like this and I'll stitch it from here similarly I'll take another part which will come on the right side I'll turn it and then I'll stitch it from here After attaching the zipper, I'll fold this neckline binding like this and then I'll make another stitch line on top of it. And towards the end, I'll fold this hemline like this and I'll stitch on it. I've stitched this zipper you can see here but this zipper is not locked from upside so if I'll take it up it will go off so I'll take needle and thread and I'll lock it from here so that when I take it up it does not go off. Now I'll stitch it from this hemline. I'll make a temporary stitch line and later I'll make an invisible hem using needle and thread. Now my back panel is also ready. I'll take both the panels and I'll join them through shoulders first. I've joined both the panels through shoulders now. You can see this is back panel, this is front panel. Now I'm going to join them by sides. I've stitched it through sides now. You can see it is looking like this. Now I'm gonna attach sleeves to my blouse. For that, I'll first make my sleeve ready. This is my sleeve, this is fabric and lining. I'll take extra fabric, I'll keep it like this. I'll use some pins here. And then 
I'll cut it from here. Now leaving half an inch of fabric, I'll make a stitch line here. I've stitched it from here now. I'll leave one inch of fabric and I'll cut it like this. Now I'm going to fold this fabric inside. I'll make small cuts here so that I can easily turn it inside. And now I'll use iron to fold it. I'll also fold it from inside like this. Now if you are not using any lace, so you can make invisible hem using needle and thread. But I am going to stitch here because I am going to use lace so it won't be visible after using the lace. I have stitched it from here now, you can see. Now I will make a hemline here. I have made a hemline here. Now I will fold it like this and I will stitch it on the marked line. Now I will attach the sleeve to the blouse. I will take my blouse, blouse right side is inside and I will take my sleeve and I will turn right side outside, I will put it inside like this, I will match seam for both of them, I will take seam for the sleeve half an inch to the front side of the blouse in the same way as we do in the normal sleeves. Now I will use pin here. And I'll stitch it from here till here. Attached my sleeve to the blouse. Now this part is unstitched right now. I'm going to take another bias binding and I'll attach here and then I'll fold that binding towards inside. This is a bias binding. I'll take my blouse and I'll stitch this bias binding on the part which is unstitched right now. Like this and then I'll fold it towards inside. You can see I have stitched it from here now. So this part is also done. Now I'll turn it to the right side. You can see this is looking like this. So cold shoulder is done. Now I'm going to attach lace on this part. This is my lace. I'll attach it straight on this blouse part and while moving to the sleeve side I'll make small pleats on this side so that this can easily be attached to the round shape of the sleeve. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for other sleeve. So my cold shoulder blouse is now ready. I hope you like my video. If you really like this video, don't forget to give me thumbs up and hit the subscribe button here. Bye bye for now and stay tuned for next video.